Yeah. I think uh, yes, can. I can. Excellent. I can. All right. You know, these two issues, uh, there's nothing funny about them, but there there was a satirical cartoon in Babylon B that sort of united them. They showed this little kid in camouflage in front of empty shelves, uh, and and the, the title was Kids Dressing Up as Ukrainians in Order to Get $40 billion for Baby Formula. I mean, the bottom line is that Americans don't feel their basic needs are being met. Do you think that's a problem? Well, yeah, look, in the Biden administration has, has not only been behind fixing all these problems, but they have been at the root cause of these problems. The list of missteps by the Biden administration, particularly related to energy costs, is both long and distinguished. Look at the steps that, he, that they've taken to destroy American energy independence. They canceled the Keystone Pipeline, zero new pipeline permits. They're canceling oil and, Gulf, Gulf, uh, oil and gas leases in the Gulf of Mexico and Alaska. And by the way, if a, if a company has the ability to explore, they're not issuing the permits that allow the company to get started. It is one thing after another, and energy cost is baked into every single thing that we do, and the Biden administration continues to destroy American energy independence, and it's affecting the food supply, but most importantly, at the gas pump, Americans are sick and tired of paying 450 a gallon for gas. Well, it seems that one thing that connects all these stories is, is this particular administration's reliance on government regulations to, quote, solve problems. Uh, government, big government is going to solve. Now we have the Defense Production Act. Of course, Trump administration used that in order to, uh, to develop more ventilators when we were in the beginning stages of the pandemic. So it has been used before by both parties. But, but again, this, this, this rush to government solutions seems Seems to be doing more to muck things up than solving problems no L listen uh, big government is not the answer to this and and let's keep in mind when when former president trump used it it was to battle a virus that came from china the shortages in american food supply are a direct supply chain issue that the biden administration and house democrats have failed to do anything about they continue to be behind the, the curve on this. They continue to push build back better pro policies that we know are going to worsen the supply chain, that are going to continue to drive prices up. They are completely out of touch with what's happening in middle America. It's wrong. We've got to put a stop to it. We're fighting this every single day. Here's the thing. Americans know what the causes are. They know who's causing it. And I don't think that they're going to accept that the, that the arsonist is also going to be the fireman. I think they're going to yeah. push back at the ballot box. By the way, the, the, the second uh, level uh, after, after that initial reliance on Defense Production Act with the beginning of the pandemic, we had Operation Warp Speed come in. And that succeeded tremendously to create these new vaccines and medications by getting rid of regulatory barriers, not by adding more on. Uh, yeah. is, is that the solution? that we need to look more at than, than, than more levels of government regulation? Yeah, particularly in the in energy sector, let's make, we, listen, we already have, we already have the best environmental standards around, <coughs> excuse me, oil and gas production. We need to go back to those. We don't need to layer additional hurdles on top of, of exploration and production of energy here for America. And keep in mind, Every single signal that the administration sends to the investment community, either saying don't invest in oil and gas or these ridiculous, ridiculous ESG regulations that, are, that go against the, the fiduciary responsibility of corporate boards and their shareholders, it, it, it is wrong. We have to put an end to this. We've got to get back to doing things that make this the most competitive country in the world to do business. And Americans need to be the beneficiary of, of that first. Congressman, thank you so much for coming here. Appreciate it. Thank you.